My god, this is your only warning! Some of the scenes in this video may or may not be suitable for children. However, I don't actually have children myself, so I don't know whether these scenes will be suitable or not for children. All I can say is that when I was 12 years old around my grandparents' house, I sat down to watch that bottom episode with that live blow-up sex doll, and uh, all I can remember is Rick Mayo and Aid Edmondson punching each other to death. But I turned out okay, right? So anything's alright for children. I'm right, aren't I? Surely I'm right. So, unfortunately, I've not got the um, budget to actually do one of them fancy explosions. So when the title comes up, I'm just going to say boom. So, you ready for it? You ready for it? You ready for it? Boom! There we go. It's a reselling clip show. Now let's go through the cast and crew of this marvellous production. So we've got Bads Robinson, which was played by me. Ads Robinson, he was also played by me. Obviously, I was the glorious narrator. I was on the amazing lighting duties. To be honest, I was a great director, writer, script editor too. I was on the editing duties. I was obviously the costume designer. It was created, developed and produced by me. I was also the executive producer and the stagehands. Well, you guessed it. They were also me. It's a very special clip show today, isn't it, Ads? Oh, have you lost your voice? Was that from singing Barry Manilow in the shower? Oh, you can't lie to me. What's that sticker for there? I love Manilow. Oh, you're digging yourself a hole here, Ads. Anyway, uh, shouldn't you get brushing your teeth? You don't want your teeth to appear yellow on the video, do you? Oh, of course, the obvious place. That's it, get a nice doll upon that brush. Are you going to make sure you're doing them well? That's it, get right deep in there. Okay, maybe not that deep. That, that just looks wrong. What are you doing? That's it, that's it. Back to, back to being a bit more normal now, please. No, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. What? No, 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 back, back to the, that's better, that's better. Okay, okay, you're okay now. Okay. Do it like a normal person for a change. Right, is that about all right now? Wait, what do you think? No, 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 don't, no, put that, oh, God. Just please, please don't put it back in your... Oh, God. Why? Why do you do these things to me? You are just a disgusting little person. What... What is your point here? Seriously, who does that? Who puts a toothbrush in their ear and then back into their mouth? Oh, do you need to spit? You better find a... Uh, you better find somewhere to do that, then. Have you not got a, uh, a glass or anything? I wouldn't spit back in there. Quick, you better find somewhere. Oh wait, you're trying to tell me something behind me. I'll, I'll just quickly have a check. Oh, wh where did you, where did you spit out? Where did you? Ah, uh, oh, well. Anyway, at least you brush your teeth now. All brushed and ready to go. Yeah. Brilliant. What's that little bit of cotton on your jacket there? It just looks like there's a little bit of a uh, fluff or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Wait, wait a second. What's that? The back? What, what have you got? On, what have you got on the back? You got a hanger. Well, what? Why is that there? What, what's that doing there? Do you not know how to get dressed? Right. There we go. Right. Perfect. Are we ready now? Can we settle down? Can we get on with this clip show? Localized time distortion incoming. That's quick. Bads is coming back from 2033. Oh, great, if he can talk, maybe he can host the show. Too late, here he comes. Bads is back, baby. And have I got something to show you. I think, mean, you know, with, with this being a clip show, I thought it's probably best to get my banana out, right? I mean, you all want to know how big it is. I, don't lie, I, I know you know, I know you want to know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit small, actually. But I'm sure you'd like like me to eat it. I'm sure you'd like to see me eat this banana seductively. Maybe peel it back slowly 
to give you a little bit of pleasure. Well, unfortunately you can't. You see, this banana costs me money, and I need to make money from you before I buy more bananas like this. Not only like this one, but bigger bananas, better bananas, all for myself. So I think it's best that you go off onto the internet, search my name, Bads Robinson, and then make me some money. They only cost a few quid, but I can guarantee you'll get off on them like a charm. So you go out, you search my name, you buy my videos, and help me buy more bananas that are bigger than this one. You know, I don't like this ads guy. He doesn't have the same motivation I do, you know? He doesn't own the world, he doesn't play on it like it's his stage. He just walks around trying to do good, trying to look after people. He's never going to make money doing that, let's face it. He's never going to be the king of the world doing that. But to be fair to him, it's his clip show, so why don't we see a few of his best bits? But let me assure you, my bits are much better than his. Hi guys, so I'm in the first one, in Mac. <laughs> was our 50th charity shop but Bernardo's donation centre in Kingsmead and my mum's holding a PS2 with a Sony red controller underneath and a few bits of media. <laughs> Sped up now, trying to get to that 56k. Uh, you know, really so up then I feel like I've smashed the challenge and you know, batted it into the ground rather than just done it. You know, it's like, oh, you're one step over 50k, yeah, just done it. Well, I'm not like that, I want to batter it into the ground. I'm, I, I can't even, I, I can't even express in words, it's just hard, it's just really, really hard at this point. Um, and I'm going to do to 56k and that'll be it and I'm really really happy with that way 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 happier than I would be if I got to 40k or 45 I've just smashed it just smashed the challenge and I'm really really happy um, and I'm glad I took, took it that extra bit further just to get a bit closer to breaking point because that's kind of what I secretly wanted out of this challenge to completely get to that kind of stage to see what my body can handle and what my mind can handle, so I'm quite happy with that too. You're recording, yeah? I'm recording. Right, we are opening the lock up. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Shows how ines inexperienced I am. Uh, she said you pull this out, I think. Oh God, I can't remember what I'm doing here. The thing at the top, there we go, yeah. that's it. That's it. Keep pulling. God, it's hard. How do we pull in this thing? And then, you ready? You've not seen it. I've not seen no. it. Oh my god. It's, it's big. Half a spare room. It's, it's pretty big. It is. Can you get it on camera? Is it capturing pretty good? Well, you stand at the end. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're moving on up. 
time to start piling the stuff in. You ready? Yeah. Awesome. First item in. So this is my cabinet, it's this one here. Um, got plenty of stuff in it, really, really nice layout. Um, sorry if there's a little bit of background noise. We've got toys and stuff in here. We've got the fat lava in here. I, I wanted to do like a dedicated shelf to fat lava because it's like, I really like fat lava. We've got some really nice pieces. We've got a really nice sort of deep red one there with sort of a greeny blue in there. We've got this uh, orange and lime one, kind of like a tic-tac. We've got a nice chocolatey brown one at the back, and we've got this really nice, lovely uh, bud vase as well, which is really nice um, style. Um, in this one, I've got like tins and stuff like that. And then in that bottom one, I've got the fairy, new old stock. We've got the hurricane lamp and a few other bread and butter bits. See, in this life, it's all about confidence. It's all about the way you hold yourself in any given situation. It's the amount of gravitas that you have with your hand gestures, with your eyes, with the way you present yourself. And this kid, he presents himself okay in certain situations, but he just doesn't lend himself to that gravitas, that power, that level of control that you need to have within certain situations. So what I would say is if you're out there and you need a little help, a little help from old bads here, then the one thing I would say is hold yourself well in situations. Stand up for yourself. Don't let others push you down because they're the ones who will be defeated in the end. You will rise to the power and the stature that you deserve. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a whole video. So. Uh, in this one, we are going to be looking at some ladies' clothing, so a bit of a different haul video today. Um, so this is a Max Mara, I think it's like a pencil skirt, uh, at least that's what my mum said anyway, um, and it's like a grey one. I don't know, maybe this is like an office one, do you think? I don't know, maybe an office one. Um, I'm not really sure on price for this one. Um, it's one of them ones that's like sort of eluding me, I don't really know. And it's probably one of the easiest things to price for, you know, the, the, the everyday clothing seller, you know, the average clothing seller. Uh, this is the other, yeah, sorry, excuse my singing. Um, it's because I'm into this bubblegum dance, isn't it, now, anyway. Um, this is another Jaeger dress. I think this is a, you know, an older one. Well, not like really old or anything, but just a, an older one. Because the tag, you can, can you see the tag there? Can you see the tag there? Don't, I know it's not showing up, it's not great. So just a very quick video, just to show you the collection. This is kind of what I've amassed. Um, as I say, over the past four or five months, um, you can see that these boxes down here are full with stuff. These are full with stuff, there's the Beatles set that I uh, showed on a haul video. These are more recent purchases here. I've got about five of them, I think. I've got about four or five of them. Got some more of the Flash set down there. Um, just got tons of stuff, tons of Speed Champions, tons of Speed Champions. Um, that box is full of uh, LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendars. As you can see there, I'm not going to get them out, but yeah. Um, uh, that is my recent purchase um, from the Lego haul that I got, and again that Jabba sail barges, but pretty crazy. I've got more stuff in there as well. It's just pretty, pretty insane the level of Lego I've managed to kind of build up, even just in like you know less than half a year. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to take this opportunity, very very quick video, just to just to show you because. It's, you know, I'm not going to get another opportunity to show you my entire collection, um, maybe for another few months, so. Um, so down here I've got a couple of things I've already listed, uh, just some books and some Christmas movies. Um, and then this is where all the inefficiency happens, and I'm probably the most inefficient reseller of all time. But if you can see that, 
all up there in between the wardrobe and the ceiling is just full of listed stuff. I've not had any breakages yet, I've not had any damage yet, which is lucky really. Um, I am trying to find different places for things, but as you can see, it's mainly board games, so generally if I keep them up there and don't um, fiddle with them too much, they generally stay in, in the, the condition we came in, really. I've got some Duplo up there as well. And then in here, I've got some stock there. And then I keep all my sealed stock down there. Well, some of it, and then some of it's not sealed, but behind that game there, that 360 vision, uh, there's loads of sealed stuff. I just keep all my sealed stuff in the same place um, because I, I don't want sealed stuff up there because obviously the seal may get broken or something and uh, if something falls or, or something like that and then obviously I have to put it in my description straight away and if someone buys it or anything before I've done that it's just well it's just going to be a bit of a big old mess so I've, I've kept my sealed stuff down there. This is another cupboard Go over to the photo area. Um, this I need to update this. Um, I think it's some sort of forgot what the what the material is. Just some sort of foam. I think it's a foam board or something. It was called. But as you can see, it's got some denting on it and stuff. It doesn't really show up in photographs, which is okay. But I do need to um, sort of uh, replace that. So I've got three items here that sold last night. Some uh, first Nerf thing has gone, which I listed a couple of days ago. That which was sticky, I just picked that up on a whim at car boot. And then Operation, which sold within about 20 hours. Got something there, a, a Lego item for me to build. And I've got plenty of stock down here to list. One thing I will say about this guy, about... This guy, all of you seem to regard as someone in this life. The one thing he does have, the one thing that I will congratulate, is his level of persistence in what he does. I mean, he's done something on his channel, I believe it's called Thursday Talks, or something like that. And he does that with an insane level of persistence. He's done something like 120, 130 episodes now and that is what he needs to win. He needs to grab with both hands that level of persistence in whatever he does and then he will fulfill all the dreams of power, influence and money that he has. And you don't think I just got given the best omnisexual porn star roles in the adult industry this century. No, I didn't get given them. I had to work for those. I had to do night shoots. I was out on fishing trawlers every other day to get these shots done, to make sure that we were producing the content that people want to watch in the 2030s. So, what I will say to you, if you want to take a goal, if you want to achieve a goal, you need to be like an animal. You need to persist. You need to get down and dirty and you need to win. You need to beat the other guys and you need to get to the top where you deserve. And if someone challenges you, you get them and you beat them down to where they belong. Because in this industry, there's no second chances. So, I'm going to actually do a segment on the channel, a weekly segment, that anyone can tune into. Um, and it's not going to be live or anything, but it will be um, recorded on the same day. And uh, will be uploaded, recorded and, uh, and uploaded all on the same day. Um, and this segment I've decided to call Thursday Talks. Hi guys, it's Adam, and welcome to the first Thursday Talks video. Hi guys, it's Adam, and uh, yes, it is Thursday Talks. 
Hi guys, it's Adam, um, and this is Thursday Talks episode 19. And today, welcome to Thursday Talks episode 22, and look who I've got with me! Hello! Hi guys, it's Adam, and welcome to Thursday Talks episode 39. Hi guys, it's Adam, and welcome to Thursday Talks. Hi guys, it's Adam, and welcome to Thursday Talks. So, I asked for your questions, and oh my god, did you bring them with force. So welcome to Thursday Talks. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Thursday Talks episode 46. So I'd like to have 500 eBay, 500 FBA by the end of the year. I think it's doable. I don't know whether it's completely, completely realistic, but I, I think I could do it. Uh, with obviously putting in a lot of work. Uh, in terms of turnover, I'd like 18 to 24k at the end of the year in sales turnover um, which going off say a, a, a net profit percentage or return on investment or whatever you want to call it going off like um, sort of that at around uh, 40% um, then you're looking at say it's 18k uh, you're looking at around the sort of 7 8k net profit take home for me well after tax of course um, but I don't think I get taxed much on that anyway but I believe there's something to do with national insurance so I've got to look into that as well um, but yeah so I'd like that sort of like 7, 8k net profit 18 to 24k turnover sales turnover and again it's doable I mean last month my sales turnover was £1,748 so if I can replicate that on a monthly basis, it's it's achievable. Um, and I may even be underestimating it slightly. It may be slightly more than that 24k. But I think the 18 to 24k is a good estimate. Um, so that's what I'd like to achieve. I mean, any sort of profit for a business in the first year is, you know, it is good. It's it, A lot of businesses fail in the first year. So... I'd be happy to take that, you know, even if it's, you know, even a couple of thousand profit, net, you know, net profit after everything, after tax and everything, I'd be happy with that. So, you know, it, I mean, I'm happy with where the business is going and I do have targets in mind to answer your question. And you know those ones from Jurassic Park, The Lost World, um, that attack that guy, those little fiddly ones? Yeah, them. I don't know what they're called. I think it begins with a silent P, but yeah, them. They're just useless. They could literally drown in an Argentinosaurus's footprint. Um, and Argentinosaurus is the biggest dinosaur to ever lived, named, I believe, after Argentina. I don't know whether there'd be anything else it could be named after. Um, and yeah, like, when they, when they were walking, the footprint was so massive, that the smaller dinosaurs could actually drown in them if it filled with water, um, you know, after heavy rain or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Uh, well, I mean, it's not really cool that it's death, but, you know, it's pretty, it, 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 it's like weird how that happened. Um, yeah, so I think that does it. I'm, at least I have um, made this a bit shorter. Oh, my voice is going now because I've been talking for so long. Um, Ooh, it, it could be. He's got a point there. Yeah. Um, and he says to share any embarrassing stories of me. And there is a lot of embarrassing stories of me. Um, I can something... personal highlight is the wasps. Oh, yeah. Remember the day with the wasps? Yes. And I do remember every do Sunday night? morning, um... Adam used to dress up in something new and walk round to see his friend Ryan and Danny. One day, I even dressed up in... Oh, low battery. There we go. Um, yeah, one day I even dressed up in my pyjamas to go round... What was that, in the morning? Yes. In the morning to go around my friends. So that was a, that was a funny one. But as I was saying with the wasps, um, I basically saw a wasp's nest and um, there was a football in the middle of it. So I kicked the football, there was loads of wasps on the football and then I just got chased by, must have been a hundred or something wasps, wasn't there? And I don't you know, weren't I there, there. But, but when I came back and I had loads of wasps on me. Yes. 
And I must have got stung, what, seven times? Possibly, yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Um, yeah, what else? There's no... Well, there is a lot, but there's... I don't know. I can't None. think of any major ones. Mm. The dressing up was... Uh, funny. Embarrassing for oh, me and, then and when, your dad. We, when we dressed up Ryan as a lady. Yes. Oh, that was funny. In Greece. No, not in Greece. We did him as... What, so we one dressed him Dan up twice? One was Danny Zuko. We had Danny as Danny Zuko and Ryan oh. as... Um, yeah, oh, but gosh, what's the we, name? No, we had Ryan walking around the estate as Rosa, or Rose, or something we called him. Thursday Talks, episode 26, um, that is live. So I'm just going to sort app things out, you know, get the old um, get the old chat up and stuff. I have got a question on my phone, so I'll answer that first. Any questions you have in the chat, and we shall get on with the uh, question I have from last week. Um, so, Carp Fishing Adventures asks, question for Thursday, do you find being full-time, you're more motivated to make it work? Also, how do you track, track your mileage when out in a car? Um, basically, I'll flip back on to me. Um, yeah, I do find I'm a lot more motivated. Um, I don't know why it is. I think it's the fact that I have to grow it. I, need, I feel like I have to. I need to. It's like this burning desire um so i feel like i've got to work a lot and i do work a lot now um i mean i definitely don't have normal working hours i don't work nine till five or anything like that um but i do work a lot i mean from yesterday i was like sourcing from like 10 till one got back had lunch did some sorting of stuff listed on amazon then by about eight o'clock i was still working listing on amazon um, so, I mean, it's basically like 10 to 12 hour days, but it doesn't feel like work. That's, I've said that many times before. It's like, it's fun. Sourcing is fun. It's going out to town or going out to, you know, a, a neighboring town or whatever. And it's really fun. It's like, it's just like you're playing. It's like kids playing in a sandpit or something. You're just having a laugh, making some money. I and mean, then I talk to people, I network, I see old school friends that I, well, I once knew and I have a chat with them. It's nice, you know, it's it's not work. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely more motivated to work since I've been full time. Hello everyone and welcome to Ads' Thursday Talks, episode 50. Yes, episode 50. Well done, Ads. Welcome to the 50th spectacular of Thursday Talks. Hey guys, welcome to the Thursday Talks 50th episode special. Enjoy. Welcome to the 50th episode of Thursday Talks. Welcome, welcome to, the to the 50th, 50th episode, episode of, of Thursday, Thursday Talks. This is going out to obey my lads. Maximum respect for your 50th episode. Boo Yakasha. Boom! Hello everyone, Chris the Geordie Reseller here. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I've just came on especially uh, because of this special event. Um, and I'm just welcoming everyone to episode 50 of Thursday Talks. Hi guys, Hicks here. And welcome to a special 50th edition Thursday Talks with Ads Robinson. Have a good one guys. Hello YouTubians and welcome to the Benjamin Button of UK Reselling's 50th Thursday Talks. Congratulations, Ads. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 50th episode of Thursday Talks with Ads. Hey, guys, it's Margaret, and I am Texas Gal Treasures on YouTube, and I would like to thank Ads so much for having me come over and join in the fun for the video that he is creating. Hello. Um, I think I'm in the wrong place here. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here and welcome to Thursday Talks episode 50. What's going on guys? Scott here. Welcome to another video. Now this isn't just any type of video. This is actually the 50th edition of Thursday Talks. So a massive congratulations to you Ads. You are the man. Hi, I'm Ads and this is Thursday Talks. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the Thursday Talks 50th special extravaganza. I apologise because I did set up the event um, in, well I set up a different event, we were going to use OBS but it, it was playing up today so 
Uh, basically, the audio was much faster than the video again, so I need to rectify that again. Um, but it was working this morning. It's really odd, that software. So I apologize if anyone's, if anyone's coming from over in the other event. Um, I know there's a few people in the live chat. We've got Dr. Doodle doing here, and we've got Jamie in there so far. So, yeah, these are my grandparents. Say hi. Hi. Uh, we've got An Andy in there. Andy with the la same last name as us, Robinson. Oh, good name. Yeah. So, we're going to do an auction. As you can tell, I can't even fit us all in this room. It's terrible with all the auction stuff. Um, but we are going to do an auction haul today. And then whatever questions you want to throw in the chat from my grandparents, that's cool. Um, so yeah, and I will answer them accordingly. Have you not got your hat on? No, I've removed his hat. No. It was better on one. Yeah, it was better on. Where is it? Here. Yeah. One second. He's getting his hat on. Goodness me. Go. Wait, well, I'll take my wig off. Right, there we go. All right, cool. Right, we've got seven, no, eight people watching so far. She's cool. We've got Chrissy, Indie Chick, uh, Andrew Robinson. Oh, another person with the same name. Is that, yeah, that's a different person. Yeah, wow. Uh, Richard Payne must be a popular surname. Um, so, yeah. So, we have to give our full names in case anybody knows. They know your name, it's just said. You can give your full names if you want. I'm going to give out my Go on. Go on, then. I'm Margaret Robinson. I was born in Manchester and I am Adam's grandma. And that... I'm William <laughs> Robinson. I was born, also born in Manchester, Cholmond Medlock, Manchester 15. And I was right. born in Hume. Oh, yeah, right. That's enough information. You don't want to give you a life story out Long on, time on the ago. internet. Hume was um, a scruffy part. Yeah, someone's saying your dad's aged quickly. Very natural position. Oh, you're fine here. Yeah. I'm just getting a chat up, guys. Right, so there won't be anyone watching yet. There'll be someone watching in a minute, though. Ah, come on. Ah, here we go. We are. Yeah, we're on. Well, we've been on for about 30 seconds to see yourself. See you can see yourself if you want. Right, I'm just waiting for some people in the chat. Do 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 do. How many do you usually get? Uh, usually it hovers around 34. We've got five now. It hovers around about 34, but sometimes it goes up to 40. Other times a bit less. But I, I normally get about 20 dedicated people who watch. Like Chrissy Bears in the chat. Uh, I know you normally get like 20 dedicated yeah, people. Yeah, so this is Thursday Talks. Today is the topic of motivation. I know I've talked about motivation to death, but um, I thought since Daniel's here, it's a good topic to connect us all together because Daniel can talk about academic motivation and what motivates you academically. And also we can talk about motivation in um, a more reselling term or practical term, that sort of way. Uh, we've got Southwest Sellers in there, which is Gary, hi ads, mystery guests and chat. Um, Andrew, hi everyone. Uh, and Chelsea, who is Alan, I believe, so hi. And we've got uh, all the way from America, we've got Lonnie in there. And um, new viewer, who did, you're not a new viewer, Lonnie. Um, who did, this is Daniel, my friend. Uh, I've got how long have we been friends now? Hi. Oh, I was thinking about that. We've waited like 15, 15 years, 15, 16 years, like crazy. Because I was like five, I think. So, six, yeah. five or six. So, yeah. yeah, seven, all right. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so we've got a few people in the chat. We've got 12 people watching now. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, drop your questions in the chat for, you know, around the topic of motivation. Um, so, I wanted to start off by asking you, how do you motivate yourself in times of maybe stress or times of where you need to get motivated, how do you motivate yourself? Uh, that's a good question. Um, most of the time it's usually through my competitive nature. Yeah. I'm quite a competitive person. Um, so I always set myself challenges. Um, and so I'm almost competing against myself sometimes. And I can set the bar for myself quite high. Um, so I can always work towards improving, self-improvement constantly something that I'm always working towards uh, whether it's exercising uh, work um, 
or social life. I'm always stri- striving to improve myself in some yeah. way. Um, so that's that's basically. I can do it. I can I can uh, vouch for that as well. You you're just crazy sometimes with your level of motivation with doing stuff. You know, like you every time we went to the gym, you'd be crazy with the gym. I'd always be following behind, and I'd be like, I, I never had that level of motivation you had. And again, in your studies, you've been really really motivated. In terms of how I'm motivated. A big one, I'm looking down there because my headphones are down there. A big one is music for me. I've li- I have literally listen to like music for four hours a day minimum, if not six hours a day. I listen to it on walks. I listen to it uh, throughout the day. I listen to it sometimes when I'm packaging. Well, that can be a double-edged sword because you sometimes package your items wrong or package the wrong item and you don't know which item's which. Um, so, yeah, um, that's kind of a big thing for me, what motivates me. There we go. There we go. We are live. Hi, everyone. I know we've got quite a few people in the chat already. So, hi there. We've got John. We've got Peter. We've got Dr. Doodle Doo. We've got, oh, God, who else? We've got Bum Crap Picker. Hi there. Uh, basically, like, oh, bloody hell. One sec, John. One sec. One sec. This is what I need to do. I need to do this. Sorry, John, you're not in the giveaway, but I am going to put you in the giveaway now because you should be in the giveaway. I was just about to say everyone in the chat right now is in the giveaway, which is quite cool. Uh, but then I realised, John, you're not in the giveaway, so I'm going to put you in. It would be in Nutsford or wherever, I don't know, somewhere. And it, I think, I, I just remember Nutsford for some reason. But she would, we, me and Grandad would be in the car, we'd have a chat. And uh, we could see my grandma talking to her friend over there. And my granddad would count, like, would, would guess, try and guess the amount of times my grandma walks away and then stops and then turns back to try, like, to talk to her again. And, like, the, the biggest number of times was, like, 11 or something. And then she'd finally get to the car. And then when she opened the door of the car, she'd turn back again to talk to her again. Oh, my God, it was so funny. But maybe that's where I get it from a little bit. But anyway, we've got to do a giveaway now because it's quarter to uh, two. So is everybody ready? Is everyone bracing themselves? Um, there are, or I don't know whether you're going to see it very well. Um, one sec, I don't know whether you're going to see it very well, but the giveaway names are in there. I've tried to make them a very, very similar size, if you can see. And I've not cheated, I've not put any name. I know that actually saying that makes, makes it sound like I have cheated, but I haven't cheated. They're all separate names in there. There's, uh, as I say, about 35, 34, 35 individual names. A lot of the people, if not all the people in the chat right now, are entered into the giveaway. So you could win this. I'm going to pick out three names, but first, but I'm just going to do one now, and then we'll have a bit of a break a minute, and then I'll do another. Uh, just uh, break it up by a few minutes. So, yeah, everyone ready? Is everyone ready? Um, drum roll, someone saying, anyone got a hammer? <laughs> I bet it's Ryan. Um, Peter Cummins, guessing you don't have a Dyson. I don't even know what that's referring to um something in the chat obviously that looks like a hat full of splits <laughs> oh my god that's got right okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm doing a good gonna do a good feel around oh that, that sounds so wrong no i know what people are gonna say in the chat don't don't make a joke out of that right okay we've got one we've got one is everyone ready 20 quid 20 quid that'll get you easy some sort of sandwich or something at weight bows uh, no, I'm only joking. You can get a lot more weight rose from that. We have got someone who's not in the chat currently, uh, Adam Butterworth. So, Adam Butterworth, you have won. I've seen you in the chat quite a lot, and I thought you were worthy of putting into the giveaway. So, yeah, you have won. Please contact me via my Instagram handle down below, or if you haven't got Instagram, uh, you can either don't direct message me on YouTube because I won't really see that, but. Uh, either Instagram or Facebook. So hopefully you've got Facebook and mess me over there uh, and we will sort that out. So yeah, we'll get you your 20 quid. So Adam Butterworth is the first one other than obviously Smart Reselling and Lisa Fenn. I don't know. why. I don't get why it works better. It's like working better now when I'm live than when I'm trying to do it. Let's just see what people are saying before I change it again. That's better. That's it. Is it? Is it? Wait, is it? 
Better now is this your end goal, lol. This is, this is, getting this right, Ryan, is so important. Don't, don't diss this. Getting this right is my life. It's my life. How long till eBay adds eBay's his mic? <laughs> you know what? Right, I should, actually, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this. I'm going out of the green for each screen for a second, but I wanted to do this because I've never done this, right? So, I don't know what this is going to do, by the way. Whoa. Let me out. Right, here we go. I don't know what... Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! That's so cool! I've got two green screens, right? What I was trying to tell you, look at it. Oh, this, oh, this is this is cool. Whoa, wait, I'm I'm invisible. Wait. Um, but I've got anyway. Enough of mocking about. I just wanted to do that. But um, I I got a green screen, right? And, and this is funny. This leads on from your comment. Um, I got a green screen, and basically I didn't like it because it's too small. I know it looks very big on here, but it's just too small as a backdrop. So. I ended up spending 30 quid on this green screen to basically use it once and then I thought right I've got to I've got to put a bit more effort into doing these things into actually if I want to do something I've got to do it in the best way I can so then I thought right scrap this I'll just end up getting a really expensive one so I end up getting an Alga Elgato one much bigger it's a massive thing I mean I'm looking up at it now but it's a massive thing and then I end up basically having this one that I've spent 30 quid on and I'm going to end up selling so that's kind of how I do things I'm very I'm very bad in that respect because I basically buy things just to sell them and end up getting a better thing you know better version he does these things called comedy shorts and to be honest they're pretty weak they lack any real seductive charm Obviously, yeah, he did this thing called a date night, but to be honest, it was a load of crap. The acting in it was appalling. It just did not work the way it wanted to. And to be honest, if you watch one of my videos, let me tell you now, you're going to really see some seductive charm. You're really going to get off on my videos. So, yeah, definitely check those out, because this guy, he's just a little kid compared to the might of bats. See, whatever you want in life, you can have, but if you don't put the work in, your soul will end up as grey as a life never lived. There's all these alternative timelines, and your life can go in whichever direction you choose. Just make sure while you're doing it, while you're living your life, to turn the colour on. Welcome to the world of reselling comedy with Axe. Adam, are you okay? Oh my god, you turned into a rabid reseller. You mustn't have been to a charity shop in over 24 hours. Let's get in there, now! A reseller comedy short by Ad Robinson. Distractions that can lead you astray from listing. But it needs to go on today. Right, I may as well have some music on while I work anyway. Be on, yeah.
No uniform needed. The casual worker. The suit. The lumberjack. The ads. I think I'm starting to feel better. Oh. Oh. Thank God you knew what to do. I might have never got back to ants. So, what do you do for work? Don't say Doctor Who. Please, whatever you do, don't say Doctor Who. Oh, I actually run a uh, massively successful online retail business. This is a Rolex, don't you know? But it says Pulsar. I think I know the make of my own watch. Oh, right. Do you work out at all? Do I work out? Do I work out? Do I work out? I've always thought it quite odd how you guys will literally put videos up of how you went out to a car boot or a charity shop or whatever you want to call them and you will go and you will get a single item. It seems so primitive, it seems so basic, so inefficient. What I do in the future is I sell sex toys because the margin is so good. You see, sex really does sell just like now or in the future it will always sell and the great thing about selling sex toys especially brand new is that you can order a huge quantity 
at once and just sell through your stock. No going out, no doing anything else, just a simple click of a button and you've made a few grand. So I think it's best we round this off now. I've probably done enough talking for you. It's time for me to go back to my own time in the 2030s and live out the life that I've always wanted. So I think I'll leave it here guys and thank you for watching but just remember always be the person you want to be. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Keep grinding, keep going, keep persisting and maybe one day you'll be as good as bad.